that would be really Okay, loud. we are sorry. No, don't start talking now. We are here with Heather <laughs> Rassiopi. Uh, one of the owners of the one and only Murphy's Tavern in Rumson. Very cool place. Now, I've been trying to come here for years. People have told me about this place, and uh, well, here we are. It tells a little story about Murphy's. I mean, you go back to the uh, Prohibition, basically. Yes, we were, we were actually a speakeasy during Prohibition. Right. Um, the river, the over the river, is actually not too far from the bar itself, so that's where the blues used to come, off that river. Right. Once Prohibition was repealed, it was grandfathered in a license, and it has been in operation ever since. This is, it's, you really have to know, I mean, it looks like just another house on the street. I mean, there's a little sign outside, you really have to... You have to know where you're going. You're not right. going to drive by and go, oh, let's stop there. So you have to know where you're going. There's and no neon you, sign, no. No. Yeah, but yeah. once you find it, you make it one of your regular stops. And you talked about, you know, you, you said about a year ago, you did this makeover. Talk yeah. about that. We did a makeover about a year ago. Um, we wanted to make it look more like a little speakeasy, bring it back to its roots. That whole speakeasy theme is a very popular um, theme right now in bars and restaurants, so we're really happy with how it turned out. Just a little cosmetic um, done out there. And what, did, what did you do exactly? Change the painting, change the decor, new tables, um, new signage, new logo, um, a prohibition style cocktail, new glassware. Give me give me an example of one of those uh, cocktails, the prohibition um, cocktails. There's one called the Witch's Kiss, which I love. Oh, okay. um, What's that's in it? Uh, cinnamon infused tequila, Ooh. amaretto, right. lemon, and fig simple syrup shaken and served in a coupe, which is a popular glass from the Prohibition era. I well, we might have to try one of those. They're delicious. I uh, love them. Okay. <laughs> and you have a nice little uh, like craft beer selection. I see Carton, which is you know minutes from here. It is. It yep. is. And uh, a few other Valentine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. It's a very. It's like being in someone. It still has that basement feel, but oh, it's it sort is. of like a. You know, a, a, a done up basement, a little, you know, great jukebox and room for how many? How many people can fit in here? Fifty. Fifty, 50 okay. Yeah. It's, it's not very big. Fifty. Fifty yeah. medium sized people. And I just had your pork roll fries. I don't think I've ever, you know, I write about food all the time. I don't think I've ever seen pork roll fries. No, they're, they're delicious. They're quite good. Whose idea, whose idea was that? I have to actually give credit to another bar. That's okay. In Asbury Park because I live near a bar called Bond Street and they uh, had them and uh, I love them and we stole their idea or borrowed their idea. But bar, we're giving them bar. credit. Right, we're giving right. them credit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. Nice you. Yeah. Good. Any other changes planned here? Um, not currently. No, we're pretty happy with the way things are going. We just want to get more people in, so come down and visit. All right, good luck in the, of course, with 60 bars in three weeks. Yes. Good luck in the big statewide bar showdown. Thank you.